see. So grab your calculators. Maybe grab a marker or a pen. Feel free to uh, make corrections. And again, you're going to write the answers on here so that if you want to do this again, because for some reason you got made a mistake or you uh, misread it, you know what to get, right? Right, follow along, get rid of phones and distractions. So here we go, side, angle, side, okay? So you know what you're finding here is a side, right? So you would go x squared, that's 10.5 squared, plus 12.8 squared minus two times the first side, second side, and then cosine of 36. Okay. And so x is equal to square root of, I don't have the answer in front of me, so I'm just gonna have to, and you have to confirm. Uh, why am I getting negative? Let's try this again. Here you should not be getting a negative because and you cannot take the root of a negative number. I don't know if you've ever, if you remember that. Those are actually called imaginary numbers. Um, there is such a thing in math. So you take this root of that and you get 7.53 and we are meters. Okay, so that's your answer. We're good. Units, everything. So I would give you, I told you this already, as soon as I see that you're using cosine law, that's the right choice. In this case, that's one. Then, uh, and I would give you another uh, mark for the work because this is not as much work as finding an angle. So there you go, that's what you get. Two marks. Next, side, 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 right? Oh. oh, you assumed this was a 90. Okay, I would I would caution. It just happened to work out, I guess. You get the exact same answer? I would give you one out of two there today because it just happens to be the case, right? It just worked out. Yeah, that was just, uh, it does look like a 90, but we can't assume, unless it's a word problem where we're leaning against something, and this is the angle of elevation, we don't assume that. But I appreciate you bringing it up, because, right, it could happen. Right? Uh, thank you. So this is cosine law still. Okay, so I'm, I have lots of rooms. So I'm going to use the bottom here for that one. There you go. So I'm, I'm solving for this angle. So cosine of that angle. The first number you write down is the 303, which is across that should be subtracted. Now you forget about it. You don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's the first number squared, second number squared, right? So plus minus, very important. Two times the first one times the second one. You get a mark for this, like just having cosine and having all the numbers in the right place, you get a mark already. Then I'm gonna clean this up a bit. And you're gonna get a negative, right? Like if you did this right, uh, that's why I made you change that number. So you get negative 12,823 for the top, two times 181 times 215, you get 77,830 for the for the bottom part and yes that gives you a negative right if you divide these you get negative zero point what is it 16 something six 16 four something okay okay that's good enough right you're telling me i'm using all the decimals then the last step would be cosine inverse i want to see that right um of negative 0 0.164, da, 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 right? So you're like, how how is this working? Right? So my calculator doesn't have 
Like if you uh, somewhere in here have a plus slash minus button, you need to use that for a negative number. I don't. So I can just type it in like this, negative 12823 divided by 77830. And see, it's a negative. Leave it. Shift, cosine, and then I can just hit equal because it takes the, the inverse of that answer. 9948, which is what I expected. Okay. I expected an obtuse angle, and there we go. So, how many marks here, Mr. Jackson? I would give you one mark for for this, like doing the steps right and using the correct notation, and then another mark for the correct final answer, because the only way you're going to get the correct final answer is if you use this negative. If you don't, you're going to get, I'll tell you what you would get, 80.52. And that's wrong. Okay. So three, two, and three, five. Five for this page so far. And now the trickier one. This one, I get it, guys, but you can do it. I know you can. Uh, just put your mind to it. Practice. Okay. Here you go. All the information that is in this word problem has been transferred already. What's the angle of elevation of wire one? It's right there, it's X. So how would you do this? Side, 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 right? And I told you to do this and I will. I'm kind of focusing on the this one, the uh, oblique, right? This one, this is 6.8, this is 9.2. And this is 4.6. Yeah, I, I cut that out. This is what I'm after. And I'm just going to focus on this angle right here, which I called X. Right? So side, side, side is cosine law. So cosine of X is the first number you put down is the one that's across from that angle you're interested in. Then you focus on the other two. Is this going to be an obtuse angle? Probably not, right? Like the triangle is pretty, right? Like it, should, it couldn't be more than 90. And then down here is 2 times 9.2 times 4.6. The only way for this to work is that for this particular question here, or uh, I'm thinking actually, Roman, here you use the sine law, right? Did you use sine law here as well or no? Because this 90 is across that one. But you don't know either one of these angles, here, would you? Uh, so I apologize. Uh, you're probably waiting. You just want the right answer. Give me the right answer. Fifty-nine, fifty-six over uh, 84, 84, 64. If you don't get a zero something, uh, there's a mistake, right? So 59.56 divided by 84.64, 0 0.703, and that keeps going. Last step is to take the inverse. You can actually do an uh, equal right next to it because it is the same. So shift cosine equals 45.28. Okay. So I would give you three marks for this question. One mark for correct setup, one mark for work, and one mark for the correct final answer. How high up the tower are the wires attached? Notice now, I'm going to use my highlighter here. Okay, so I'm going to now focus on this. Which one would you like to use? Oh, wait. I'm going to use the big one. Because I now know this angle. It's known to me. It's, I just figured that out. So I'm going to cut it. How about I just do this? Wow. That is amazing. Now I can see it. Right? That's 45, 28. Now uh, this is a the Y right here, which is the height of the tower. I know this one is 9.2 meters, right? I'm copying it from here over here. I forget about this line that used to cut it. 
and now I see that I have a pair. So sine of uh, 90 over 9.2 is equal to sine of 45, 28 over y. Do some cross multiplying and dividing magic. And uh, what is that? Drum roll. 6.54? 6.54 meters. Uh, I would give you two marks for that. One here, one for final answer. So two marks for that. And now I'm, I'm going to use the same one. And I, because that's ultimately what what uh, we want, right? 9.2. I just figured out that this is 6.54. This is a 90. So this I call Z, right? You remember good old Pythagorean theorem? You could use it at this point, right? Zach was asking us, can I do it? Yeah, you have a 90. But uh, we know that this is 45, 28, right? So you want this side. So you would have to find this angle up here, but you know two already, right? So basically, I take away that 90 from 180. I'm left with 90. So 90 minus 45, 28. That's 44, 72. Okay. So you could use sine law. So I'm, I'm actually going to do that and then maybe show you that uh, sine of 90 over 9.2, sorry. Sine of 44.72 over Z. I'll skip that step and just give you the answer. So that's 99.2 times sine of 44.72, 6.47. Pythagorean theorem, Z is equal to square root of hypotenuse squared minus the leg squared. You get a slightly different answer, perhaps. This is 41.86, keeps going. Take a root of that, 6.47, the exact same answer. Either way, two marks for either one, because you use sine law, and the correct final answer. So we are what, uh, three and four, this page is seven. And the first one we did was five, right? So seven and five is out of 12 total. On that piece of loose leaf. So you go ahead right now and write down the correct answers in your booklets. Even if you did this all right, still do it, right? Uh, then it's there. So all the boxed in or circled numbers are worth writing down, okay? And then I will flip over to the first, uh, to page 284 and do the same thing. Still want to review supplementary, complementary before we go. 284 right here. Uh, maybe write down for this for B, you get a negative. It will be an obtuse angle, 99.48. I don't know. It stands out right when you're going over it. Oops. Trick now. Uh, so put your, yeah. C, one second, 647. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm, I want you to now you're going to keep this AC. I'm quizzing you tomorrow. So now you know if you're ready or not. 
Go to page 11 in your workbook. You remember the workbook? You know, this is what it looks like. First page, not the notes, but the workbook. I need you to have that ready to go. Go to page 11. Page 11. Okay. I don't have much time, so I will dive right in, okay? And you've seen this before, so it's not like it's brand new. Um, I will scan both of the, I have the key completely worked out here. Some color and everything, okay? So I will post that later on. So if I kind of just go over it, make little notes here and there to help you out. But tomorrow's quiz will, will have something like this on there. And I reviewed it today on the board as well. Um, let's just go over it a little bit. Consider the following diagram. Calculate. Are you familiar with this? The value of angle EFD. What in the world is that? That's three-letter notation. Don't be worried about it, right? Read it the way it says there. E, F, D. So which angle are we talking about? This one right there. That's the angle in question. What would that be? By the way. What is it? No, Anwar, don't say it. You already said it. They didn't hear it, though. 110, right? Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. So supplementary angles, right? So it's going to be 180 minus 70, right? So that's 110 degrees. Okay, we're good to go. I'm guiding you through it. That's 110. Uh, angle D, what's angle D? 180, you have two, right? 2 minus uh, 140 minus 110, what are you left with? Mental math? 30, sorry, not 20, 30. You're telling me it's 30, right? So now I know this is 30. So basically I'm guiding you through the fact, hey, find all angles. You have enough information to find all angles. It all started here. It all started here. You use this to bring one in. And now you have two out of the three, find a third, boom, you're good to go. What do you have there? What law would you use to solve that? You have this side and this angle that's a pair, right? Pair, therefore sine law. Okay, so you use all that to solve. That's all I'm going to do there. Um, num number two is very much like it. Okay, so I'm not gonna not gonna talk about that. It does ask for angle of elevation between the ground and the tissue's line of sight. So they're asking, you need to figure out where the angle of elevation is. If not, you can look at the key. You should know by now. And then uh, backside, question 12. What kind of angle are we talking about there? What's happening here? It's not an angle of depression. It's not an right? I like that you're telling me like what you're thinking. Angle of depression would be like this, right? This is 20. But this is not, right? This is not it. But what's happening between north and south, east and west? It's always 90 here, guys. So if this is 20, then this will be You're good to go. And there is some vehicle finance there to, you know, amuse you, blast from the past, right? So uh, if you want to do that, you can do that as well. Okay, listen carefully. Homework is sometimes... Homework is sometimes a horrifying experience. It's like homework... I'm doing homework. Do some of it. Okay? 
I promise you will pay off tomorrow if you if you work this week. I will post a fee, and then you can see if you're getting it. If not, come and see me. This is uh, page 11 and 12. In your workbook. 